So I'm here to talk about uh, Bill C-26, especially with the Canada Pension Plan enhancements. And I feel that uh, we've, after the research that we've done, there's, um, we've noticed that there could be an oversight of the, um, on the issue of knockout time when a woman is uh, raising her children and does not get penalized for, for uh, looking after her child. This happens in the base, it is there, and it's also in the, with the people with disabilities. However, when doing our homework, we notice that it's not in the enhancements, and we're not sure if that's an oversight. I will be going into the committee and asking those questions. However, if it is an oversight, uh, that would be great. It's an easy fix. If not, it's going to have serious implications for the people going forward. And I, I truly believe that uh, it's better to know now instead of 40 years from now that uh, it wasn't brought out. So you're saying that the investments might not apply to time that was spent uh, on maternity leave? That's right. It's very clear. It's only it's in the base for sure, but we don't know if, it, if it's in the uh, if it's in there. And, uh, well, and, you don't have, and you don't have an answer to that right now? No. Do you think it's going to be an oversight, or do you think it's going to be a... We hope it is. Because, I mean, we have dealt with... We'll get to it in a second. Yeah. yeah. Well, as the critic for persons living with disabilities, I know I have a heightened awareness of the fact that we have people that are already under financial stress that are being left behind in an enhancement to the CPP, and that's supposed to be the purpose of the CPP, is to alleviate uh, these financial stresses. So this oversight is very disconcerting, and we, you know, is this an oversight, or is this something that, you know, should be more meaningfully consulted, what kind of consultations did take place? It's an, it's an enhancement, so this needs to include everyone in this enhancement. No one should be left behind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi. Look, this is a, a terrible result uh, that can be fixed. Uh, there's no reason to believe that the government is short of means to address this obvious mistake. And uh, frankly, um, I'm not even at the stage now of, of assuming that it was done with the worst of intentions, although when you saw the answers we got in the House today, I do believe that it's quite clear the government was aware of the problem. Il est évident pour nous. C'est un, un problème. Okay. Obvious for us that this is a problem that can easily be fixed, and uh, we're looking for solutions today. It's unthinkable that in 2016 that we changed the rules with regard to pensions at the federal level in a way that makes them less just for women and for handicapped persons. 77 by Pierre Trudeau, because it was 1977 and you had to have that change. That was 40 years ago. To see the government actually proposing changes that go backwards from that protection for women's rights is frankly astonishing, and we're going to assume good faith, and we're going to point out the obvious problem and call upon the government to get it fixed as soon as possible. It's inconceivable for the NDP that the federal government is actually going to push through changes to the Canada Pension Plan that will make things even more unfair for Canadian women and for those who live with handicaps. 